The score is 2-0 to zero in favor of Final Boss right now, looking to take the game away with this next game. A little time to prove, stop them from doing it. How well is Final Boss playing right now, gentlemen? Now, Farouk, I'll be honest. Final Boss is not playing as good as I thought they would be. They're off to a very slow start, but towards the end of that second game, I thought they were starting to click. Neighbor was doing his thing. It seemed that strong side in the Ogres started to get on board, knowing what was going down, and it looked like Bravo really was a big factor in that victory, making sure that all of the power weapons went in the favor of Final Boss that game. I totally agree. JT Bravo is the fifth member of Final Boss right now. He's keeping their heads in it. He's, his intensity is out of, off the charts right now. He's coaching Neighbor especially. I see him spending a lot of time behind Neighbor, making sure he's on the same page with the rest of the Final Boss members. All righty. Well, I definitely agree. Here we are going to go with Game 3. It is going to be King of the Hill on pit. Now, this is not good news for time to prove. They rank this as their 11 out of 11 game types, while Final Boss puts it in their top four. We're getting this one underway with Neighbor once again. This is his match to shine. He's getting the sniper rifle. Well, this time, he's got to win the battle against Batman. And Batman, he's got his nasty sniper rifle, but the kid I'm going to go watch is the guy who just got the boom booms. It's Strong Side. Strong Side taken out in the clutch. They're trying to lock down the hill as Neighbor picks up a double kill. Final boss couldn't have asked for a better start right here. Look at this. Strong Side with the rockets, killing the other team's sniper. This neighbor had snipes. He just got taken out. But all members of Final Boss are al were alive for a second there, and they had all the members from time to prove on spawn. All righty, but Final Boss isn't getting that much kill time. They need to lock it down. Strong side trying to warm up with that sniper rifle. His game, not quite to the highest level we've seen it, but he's starting to warm up as this match goes on. Well, he's not going negative, that's for sure. He's playing a role, so maybe he's not the lead slayer anymore. When you have neighbor on the team, I mean, you got to put neighbor, you got to put your best foot forward, which is neighbor, and let him just go dominate. Well, we got to keep in mind that strong side did go the most positive in the game one. He was the one trying to get it started for Final Boss with Ogre 2 there to be behind him but now it looks like he's just being patient making sure no one's spawning behind him the rest of the guys on final boss are just dominating time to prove it definitely looks like strong side is definitely controlling those power weapons going back and forth between the sniper and the rocket making sure he maintains both of those well he's got two headshots left in the oh. clip but neighbor is doing all the work for him neighbor of course just got with the headshot two there in a on row. batman he just got a second one. Meanwhile, three. Side. He's Finish missing. It. All right, we're going on board, neighbor. Next, he's getting excited. Can I can I describe what just happened? Neighbor looking up to the top of the back cave, no scoping a guy. Some guy charges him. No scopes another guy in sword bridge. No scopes the third guy and cleans it up with BR for the killing spree. Neighbor's the man. <laughs> three no scopes and a BR, huh? He made it look easy. No respect. No respect. Well, now he's at a sniper rifle ammo, and now he's gonna have to rely on the battle rifle, but. BR seems to be pretty solid so far as well. Hey guys, we got an overshoot coming up in 10 seconds here. It looks like Strong Side's about to clear it out. All right, well, Neighbor's taken down. We're going to stay on board with him, though, as Final Boss almost has 60 seconds. The time to prove six seconds. Brooke, what does time to prove need to do here? It's game three. If they lose this, they're headed to the loser's bracket. Well, one thing they can't do is they can't be content on where they are and how far they've gotten in this and say, oh, we put up good matches. We put up good matches against Final Boss. they got to win this matchup if they want to advance or even try to keep this game alive. All right. Well, we're watching as Batman is trying to control the overshield for time to prove. They're trying to lock down the power weapons and the power-ups. But it looked like we were watching Neighbor there hit him twice with the sniper rifle. Let's jump on board with Batman, who somehow stays alive. He's in a whole new Batcave, and he's picking up a double kill. I think we've just officially renamed the Sniper Tower to the Batcave. Last game, he's the only person on his team to go positive from the Batcave. This kid's the man. That's his favorite place. I mean, he's been there. He was there in the last match for Slayer, and he's there right now for a little King of the Hill. Well, you have to give Batman props, but you got to give some props to his teammates as well. They're allowing him to get the power weapons while they're doing the dirty work out front. Batman just sitting back, picking off people from afar. But Neighbor, he's just getting in your face. He is charging over to the Batcave. He wants that sniper rifle. You know, i got to admit, I feel like we're watching the old Final Boss who used to totally dominate their enemies, outslay them, and, like, they, the, the new... 
the Halo 3 final boss was really concentrated on setting up. This final boss is setting up, but they're not really worried about holding the setups. They will improvise, they will run around like madmen. Oh and my neighbor! <laughs> the new member of Finals getting it started, looking for the triple. Ogre 2 is going to clean that one up. 81 to 24. Now, Nexi. Ogre 2 told me that they learned a lot from Neighbor. That is something they weren't doing from Walshy. They weren't even agreeing with Walshy strategy-wise all the time. What do you think Neighbor brings to the team? Well, I got to say, the Ogres admitting that shows how great Halo players they are. If you can admit that you don't know everything there is about the game, and you're willing to learn and take people like Neighbor onto your team, and even JP Bravo onto your team to come coach you. I mean, that just says a lot about how much you're willing to learn about the game. Well, in the clutch, doing a great job of timing the power-ups there, grabbing the overshield, trying to stay alive for a minute, but Neighbor and friends were there to finally take him down. Neighbor coming off the respawn. We're jumping on board with him as he is going right back for the new sniper rifle. But he's got to look out because he's the only member alive. The rest of his teammates starting to spawn now. But all the time to prove was set up pretty well here at the hill. Neighbor getting sneaky though, taking out Brad Fox with the assassination. And now the Ogres are trying to go to work here by the overshield. Strong side now in the hill as final boss wins most of the battles, except he is now the last member alive as Brad Fox and in the clutch starting to step it up. We're staying on board though with Neighbor as final boss is up 92 seconds to 43 seconds here in game three. If final boss wins it, they will advance to winner's bracket round three and time to prove will drop to the loser's bracket. All right, I know we missed a few power-ups and a few power weapons there for a little while there, but I got to say the next rocket and overshield are coming up with only 10 seconds apart. Now, Nexi, talk to me a little bit about how important the power weapons are in a King of the Hill game compared oh, to a man. Team Slayer game. Well, imagine having rockets. You can clear out the hill with one shot. I mean, the, the, the hill's only so big. You shoot a rocket into it and you're clearing it out. Not only that, you're keeping it away from your enemy. So controlling power weapons is how you win Halo games. All right, well, in the clutch, he's controlling one of the power weapons. He's got the sniper rifle going to town there on green box, hitting the player once, trying to connect for the second shot. You see the final boss guys charging for that sniper rifle that is down on neighbor's dead body. It looks like we got time to prove actually setting up here. They should get a lot of time out of this hill if they can hold final boss back. Well, they're starting to pick up time. They picked up 40 seconds compared to final boss's 20. And the clutch is being taken down. We're jumping on board with Neighbor. He's going for no scopes right now. He's starting to play a bit cocky. Did you see how sneaky Neighbor was there and that why he's such an asset to the team? Time to prove, like I was saying, was totally set up. Neighbor out of nowhere comes and kills their sniper. Well, no the, one saw that coming. It's the third time we've seen him assassinate in the back cave. I was ready to say that. We did see it. That's about the third time we saw him do that. So we'll see if he can maintain and keep doing it. Right now, Batman has the overshield directly above him. Neighbor not worried, though. He's pushing in on three players here. <laughs> Strong <laughs> side just picked up the new rockets, by the way. That means overshield's coming up any second now. Oh, it's been up. And Neighbor's getting rid of it. Sticks Batman. Now he's slapping some bodies. That is a statement. Game three. Go to the loser's bracket. He 